think the whole world consider Andy Irons one of the greatest backside tube riders of all time. And this especially showed at Pipeline. That was his arena and, and he was one of the masters. And that, that view is engraved in I think a lot of people's minds and heads. Mine, you know, it is that exact look that, you know, the sun's coming down over there, it's going through the lip and you just seeing the biggest barrels. I remember uh, showing up to pipe and it was just, it really was firing. Was eight to 10 foot, perfect, beautiful, glassy. And I just waited for a lull, started paddling out, made it through the channel, got outside and I uh, was out there for five minutes and I saw Andy catch this wave and just pull into this deep barrel, kick out on the inside. As he was paddling back out, this perfect wave started to break. He looked over at the wave and then he looked back at me and he just said, living the dream, Bielman, living the dream. I walked down to walk Axel down to the contest today during the trials and I, I actually started to cry. It's really overwhelming. It's, um, it's sad. There's so many amazing memories. And then, I don't know, I live, uh, there's just, yeah, all the amazing memories just come flooding back and just hearing the announcers talk and just, yeah, Pipe was definitely one of his favorites. He just he almost thrived. It was in his little, his eyeballs, the fire. He just, he loved it. When it was big and good, he, it was very obvious. He was happy and giddy and just, I don't know, it just, yeah, it brings back so many memories. Those years that Andy was winning pipe and had all those magical wins and crazy heats um, were probably the best years of my life. I had the, it just, we were living on top of the world and I got to hang out with Brian Billman more than anyone else. Because <laughs> I sat on the beach with him and Tom Survey and while well, they shot photos, so we became really close. When I look at this photo, it makes me realize Andy and I didn't just have a working relationship. We were friends and things just happened naturally. And that's how this photo was. It wasn't planned. It wasn't like a setup situation where he was going to go, you know, look at a wave, perfect wave as it was breaking. It just happened. And it just sums up our whole relationship. Nothing was ever forced. We just, yeah, Andy loved having his picture taken and I was the perfect guy to hang around with for that, you know. So we had this great rapport and we just worked together great and we got a lot of great shots. But I have to say that probably out of every photograph I've ever taken of Andy, this is my favorite shot. And, you know, especially because it was sort of dug out of the files after Andy passed away and then used for something so prestigious as the Billabong Masters. So it's close to my heart. It's a magic moment. And it was all, uh, and it was all organic. When I think back on it, it wasn't traveling with Andy, it was traveling with Lindy and Andy. Because that's what made it so special. We were just such a close, exactly, such a close crew and there's so many great memories. Of